Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review hype collab time. Mr. I'm gonna review easily accessible beers. I'm taking a break from that again. <laughs> Cause the boys at North Park collab with Troon. Troon is ridiculous. The hype with Troon is just I don't understand it. Um, people play, people pay insane amounts of money for crawlers. Like it's just, if that's your thing, that's your thing. I've, I'm not mad at it. I just, I'm, I'm so far past any of that at this point in my life. So, uh, <clears throat> this is approach the throne. Trun is in New Jersey. Are they in New Jersey? Is that right? I don't remember. They're somewhere out there. I think they're in New Jersey. Um, I think I've had one Trun beer in my life. I had a crawler of a hazy something, um, and it's funny because they always brew like 9% beers and call them hoppy ales. <laughs> I just, I don't get it, but um, I remember liking it. But at this point in my life, I just don't care about hazy beer anymore. Um, and it's just, it's wild seeing what people are paying and giving up for true beers. Like it's fucking hazy beer. I don't know, whatever. If that's your thing, do it. I'm not mad at you. I'm not judging. It is what it is. But this is a West Coast IPA because it's North Park. They are unreal West Coast IPA uh, beer brewers. And this is pretty labeled Double Dry Hop West Coast IPA, 7% alcohol by volume. Recipe brewed and packaged in North Park, North Park, San Diego. I love North Park. I just, I'm saying like I love the area North Park. I just don't get down there enough. Um, North Park is about, uh, depending on traffic, it's like an hour from where I'm at in North County. And it's just like, the beer's so good. I just, I have too much stuff going on during the week and with the kids schedules, like I just can't just go to North Park whenever I want, it bums me out, so. Um, Simcoe, no, uh, Simcoe Nectaron Cryo, Nectaron, why can't we use our words? Simcoe Nectaron Cryo, Nectaron, Nelson, and Peacherine. Like, this has to be unreal, right? Those hops are crazy. Uh, canned on November 6th, time of recording, 10 days in the can. I don't know when this is going to upload, but I wanted to put a video up, why not? I could smell that as soon as I cracked it. Holy smokes. End of the North Park glass, because beer tastes better in proper glassware. It's the only North Park glass that I own. And I just, I'm still a fan of Willie. Aren't they called Willie? Be Willie. Oh man, I always want to say Belcher like Tim Belcher. Willie Bechter? Willie Buck. Willie. Willie. I don't know what it's called. It's a Willie glass. <laughs> uh, this beer is crystal clear. It is super light. It is that lemonade color. Sunshiny yellow. Probably looks darker on camera because they all do. Finger of bright white head. Um, this West Coast IPA we talk about with North Park because they're so heavily hopped. There's not a lot of carbon, um, most of them. This one actually has bubbles, I can see. So, LFG Playa. Seriously, the aroma of this beer being three feet away from me, my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, it's so much Nelson. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know how long, I mean, if you're watching this review. I don't know like how long you've been watching my reviews for, but I'm one of I'm probably the number one health Nelson hype man. Uh, my dog's name is Nelson. I'm a Nelson guy. This beer smells unreal, Nelson. It's just <laughs> it is just straight gooseberry. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Gooseberry is not a thing unless you're Peter, the master of poppets. Or Bud. Bud will tell me. Bud Rhodes. He'll be like, hey man, I eat gooseberries. You don't eat gooseberries. You're a liar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know what gooseberries smell like, but I think it's this. It is so fruity. Oh my gosh. It's so like hop resin. Stone fruits. Nectarine. I mean, Nectaron is in it. It's stone fruity Nelson boner. Holy smokes, this beer. Um, I will say the new school West Coast IPA, they get very fruity and very sweet. Some people don't like that. Don't like that. I mentioned it in my last shred review. Um, there's a cool dude named John who watches a lot of my reviews and he doesn't like, it's not that he doesn't like them. He's not the biggest fan of North Park, uh, new school West Coast beers. Cause he says they're too sweet too like, it's too over the top, but holy smokes, this smells awesome. It's fruit salad. You know, the fruit salad you get when there's like a lot of grapes in it. It's that let's taste it. Cheers. This beer is so good. You know what's crazy is they just did another collab. <clears throat> it was a hazy triple IPA, and I sent it uh, to a buddy of mine. I I don't think he likes West Coast beers, but I wish I would have sent a can of this now that I'm smelling it. You know who you are, Playa. I 
immediately I will say this beer does not taste as intense as the aroma is. And that bums me out a little bit just because I was so excited with the way that it smelled. It tastes what it smells like, but not as intense, if that makes sense. Um, it's absolutely delicious, but man, if it could, if, I mean, I'm my own fault. I've had this for over a week now. No. When did I get this? Yeah, it's been about a week. I didn't crack it. I've been just crazy busy, whatever. Um, I wish I would have drank this like the day that I got it. That being said, this is absolutely delicious. The Nelson, it's vinous, grapey, dusty, earthy, stone fruit, so much stone fruit. It's bright. Maybe it's good that it's not as intense on the palate as it smells because it maybe it would be overwhelming. Maybe it would be too much. I don't know. This is really, really good. That Simcoe is offering like this cool, like earthy, catty, funk kind of a something that just works well that balances out the sweetness of all like the fruity hops that you're getting. Maybe some, some of that's Nelson too, but I think the Simcoe works well on that. Holy smoke, so the aroma of this is wild. I'm, I've said it before, uh, North Park for me, I, I just, gosh, I hate saying this just because I haven't had enough McElhaney West Coast stuff since they reopened. Um, I mean, I was up until I started drinking North Park, I was always Alpine, old school Alpine was like king of West Coast IPA more so than Russian River in California. Alpine was the best West Coast IPA you can get, in my opinion. Um, and I haven't had enough McElhaney. I've reviewed a couple of their beers. I fucking loved them, but North Park is just so much easier for me to get. And so for my availability and what I'm able to get easily, North Park makes the best West Coast style. And this is just up there with some of the best beers they do. Hot Foo is my favorite San Diego IPA. It used to be Swami's from Pizza Port. I still love that beer, but I did like a side by side of those and uh, hot food is just so it's so next level um this beer is it's a plus it's world class it's delicious is this like what did troon do to this i don't know i've never had like a does troon even brew west coast style beers i think they do like sours and hazies like is this all north park is this kelby what are we doing i don't know this beer is fire we'll leave it at that world class stuff if you like the new school west coast style absolutely fantastic so that's approach the throne from north park and troon if you guys have had it let's talk about it i don't know when this is going to upload but i would say it's still drinking well whenever it does upload so seek this out if you have not had it yet so that is it i'm out of here appreciate you guys watching see you soon cheers thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade all this shit <laughs> I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.